In the next few minutes, I'm going to mash up data coming from Salesforce.com, Google Analytics, Google AdWords, and Google Spreadsheet. And I'm going to do all of that without having to script anything at all. What you're looking at here is what's called SciSense Elastic Cube. It is the environment that business users can use in order to connect to data sources and work with data at large scale. Very simply, how do you get started? You create an Elastic Cube. You can see here, you just point on it and you can start typing SFDC standing for salesforce.com. Now you see here the button here called add data. That's the way that you add data inside SciSense. There's no scripting, there's no coding. You just uh, click and you can see you can add data coming from SQL Server and most of the databases available here in the market. You can add it from flat files, maybe coming from Hadoop or a Chrome job coming out of SAP, what, which have you. And then you can have access to most of the uh, cloud applications out there, salesforce.com, uh, and other as like uh, Zendesk for instance. So here I'm just going to add salesforce.com. It's very easy to do so. You just put in your username, your password, you get your security token. I'm not sharing that with you, um, but uh, once you have that and you can get that out of Salesforce, you can now get straight access to your tables uh, via the API that salesforce.com makes available. So here I'm, I'm just going to pull in the account data. You can see here I can click on preview and take a look at the data, but I'm going to add a bunch of other data sources like lead, uh, campaigns, opportunities, and there you go. So you've seen now in a few clicks, I've connected to the salesforce.com API, I've added the tables I want to do reporting on, and surprise, surprise, what do you get? You get the tables, but you also get the tables that are already connected, so you can start doing reporting on it. This is really important differentiator of the SISEN solution, is that we read the metadata, we read the relationship between the um, the fields inside the tables and we join them for you. Now we also do this intelligently. We don't simply look at names, which some other solutions uh, might do. We actually understand the connectivity between these uh, joins so you can't make mistakes when you report on it. So in this example, for instance, we understand that the opportunity ID um, is connected to the converted opportunity ID in the lead. Not obvious, but we understand that just reading the metadata. Now of course, you know, if you uh, feel like you need to customize the links, we allow you to simply just click and uh, delete the joins, uh, which uh, many of our customers appreciate. There's quite a few things you can do uh, using SciSense Elastic Cube. Uh, the first thing, obviously, you could see um, custom fields to the API, that's pretty standard, but you can also uh, start seeing that the system is going to make it easy for you to do great reporting. For instance, aggregation. So, in the case of a text field, we're going to count. We're going to count duplicates. We're going to create these aggregations so you don't have to think about them at the time that you're reporting on the data. When it's a float, you can see we're doing sum, average, minimum, max, count, count duplicates. And when it's a date field, you can see that we're also parsing it for the days. We're parsing it for months, quarters, years, which is very useful when you want to do quick analysis. There's quite a few things you can do with the solution. If I wanted to here, I can duplicate the table. I can delete my table. and uh, if I wanted to be able to work on it but not make the table the data available to my end users, you can see here, I can make my table invisible. Now, I might like the data that I have here, but uh, I want to extend this data. And what's great about the Elastic Cube, it allows you to do things very simply, but also allows you to get into sophisticated scenarios uh, very quickly as well. So it goes from simple to sophisticated. So my example here, close date, I like that, but I want week of the year. I want a week number so I can do analysis based on week numbers. How do you do that? Again, very simple. I'm going to add a new custom field to this table and I'm going to call it a week of the year. I'm going to determine that this is an integer yeah, which automatically now uh, Elastic Cube is going to create some aggregations for me and I'm going to edit the formula for it. Again, here you'll see the formula editor uh, what I'm looking at here is not going to require me to write code. This is again another great value for your business user. We have lots of functions available to you as it happens uh, week of the year is available here. So I'm going to pick week of the year, I'm going to pick this table and I'm going to say is the close date for week of the year and there you go. Now everything you're looking at here is actually SQL compliant. So if you have people on your team that are SQL gurus, there are millions of SQL developers out there they can go at it using this functionality, which is another benefit of the Elastic Cube, uh, which is we don't require you to learn any cryptic or proprietary language that we would have created. Everything is layered uh, with SQL. So let me parse this. 
and I could see that it parsed successfully, so I'm just going to close that, and boom, you have it. Now, week of the year is an available field in this table. Very quick, right? So now on the left, I've got my salesforce.com data, and as I said earlier, I want to match that up with other sources. What are the sources? Let's pick Google Analytics. Same story here. Connecting to Google Analytics is just a few clicks, as long as you've got your code and your API key. Now, how do you get that? Uh, you can just uh, simply uh, press on the links that we provide in the tool, and you'll get access to your key. Once you do that, you can now quickly get access to the information. I'm going to quickly pick my tables, and uh, once I have my tables, there you go, and now I've got my data. So on the right, Google Analytics. On the left, Salesforce. I'm going to just take a look at my uh, tables here, and you know, you notice that when you have more tables like that, you uh, want to be able to search for fields very quickly, which is another great functionality of the Elastic Cube. Here I'm typing date, and all of a sudden, now the application gives me here are all the areas where you have date fields. So uh, what I'm looking for is the lead uh, create date, because I want to join that with the uh, opportunity um, date field. And so I'm just pointing to those on, on the right, and when I do that, I can now quickly join these fields. Now, the system is smart in the sense that it doesn't let you make mistakes. Here, I just tried to join my date with my fiscal uh, quarter. You know, these two might be similar, but the system understands, no, they, they, they won't match and the join's not going to work. So you actually should drag it up to create date. So a very, way, a very good way for me, who is not an IT person, to understand the relationship and let the system really uh, avoid uh, for me to have to think about complex relationships like that. All right, so we've got Salesforce, we got Google Analytics. Let's go in and uh, maybe we'll add a spreadsheet. Spreadsheet, as easy as the other data source. In fact, maybe easier. I just put in my credentials. I connect to my servers. These are all the spreadsheets that are available to me. I'm going to pick the AdWords data, and there you go. I'm going to click on it, and now I can see my spreadsheet. What's really cool about the integration of Google Spreadsheets is every tab is considered as a table, so you can independently import the data and join uh, tabs uh, across um, the application. It's really cool. I'm just going to pick all my campaign data and I'm going to take a look at it. Yep, it's the right one and I'm adding it here. I'm also going to join it. Okay, so I'm going to join it to the earlier table that I had and there you go. So now I've got my Salesforce.com data on the left, my Google Analytics data on the right, and I've got this spreadsheet here. You can go and limit it in a number of data sources here. Um, and you can, as you can see, you can import them very quickly. Uh, next, I'm going to process this data so I can get access to it uh, via the uh, BI Studio interface. And as you can see, now I'm actually processing a half a billion rows. And I can do this in less than a minute. Now, let's use this data and let's build some great dashboards. Let's get started.